So this is Clendy's core functionality, the cadence. So let's say we are starting with an email. Clendy has its own template library section where you can store all your templates that you want to use. So this way it makes building the sequence much more simpler. Not only just storing these templates, we also show you detailed reporting as to every time that the templates are being used, the number of times it's being used, the success rate in terms of opens, clicks and responses. The last thing you want is making the email seem over generic. So that's where you can use placeholders to help personalize your entire outreach. So placeholders can be used to fill in information like the contact's first name, the company that they are from, topic, title and so on. And like any other tool, you also have text editing options to design your templates. You can hyperlink your text to track engagements. You can also add attachments like PDF files, videos to be attached along with your emails. But let's say you're still not totally convinced with the email template. Clendy also has the option to A-B test your emails. So you can have different email templates added for the same step. Right? So Clendy will randomize and send these emails to different contacts in the list. So this can just be the introductory email. So you can also schedule a follow-up email following the same process, insert and add. In the follow-up emails, you can also set your delay. Let's say I'm going to reach out again in a couple of days. So Clendy will automatically send a follow-up email on the third day. We also have step settings to make sure that the emails are being sent in specific hours during the day. You can also schedule your days, skipping out weekends. And then we also have approval for sending. Let's say for certain parts in your outreach, you don't want to have it over automated. You want to have some control to what emails you're sending. You can turn on approval for sending and then Clendy will schedule the email on that specific day, but won't automatically send them out. So the minute you hit start three emails, you see the emails already personalized to the contacts information. If you need to edit it with some other information, you can just click and edit your email before it actually goes out. Now all this would be pointless if the email doesn't land in your prospects inbox. So Clendy has its own email deliverability settings that can help you with this. So email interval just to make sure that the emails are not being automated every 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Randomizing the interval sends it 30 seconds apart to maybe 210 seconds. So each email goes at various intervals. Email validation is also one of the key aspects of email deliverability. As and when contacts are being imported into Clendy system, Clendy automatically validates them and make sure that the emails that are invalid and risky are not being added to the cadence. The last thing you want is having the email sent from one domain and the tracking done from a different domain. Custom domain tracking has more depth to it. If you want to know more about this, you can always book a call with our team so we can discuss this in detail. Now let's add a LinkedIn step to the cadence. With LinkedIn, you can do these four touch points. You can send a connect request to the prospect. You can view the profile. You can send a message and send an email. Let's say we are sending a connect request with the message note. You can paste your message here. And once the task is ready, you can use this option to complete the LinkedIn actions. So it shows the task that I have pending for the day. I'm connecting with the prospect, Michael. Now it will automatically take me to Michael's profile page on LinkedIn. The message earlier drafted in the sequence is pre-populated here. And the reason we have this manual touch is because LinkedIn is not too welcoming in having third-party tools automate within their system. And you'll always be running the risk for your account to be blocked or suspended. At times, this could also be an advantage because having the manual touch also gives you room to go through the prospect's activity history, post he might have shared or liked, go through his work experience and alter the message and personalize it a bit further. Now let's try a call step. For calls, you can determine the purpose of your calls. It could be an introductory call, it could be a demo call, follow-up call or a support call. 
let's say we're doing a follow-up call you can add any call scripts notes that you want to have before your call paste it over here and once that's completed you just go to the call section where you can complete these calls now this gives a prospect overview, previous conversations that I had with this prospect for reference during the call. And through this inbuilt dialogue, right, so here you can take your live notes for the prospect. On the off chance that the prospect doesn't pick up the line, you can add your post call notes added here. And Clendy will automatically pick up the status of the call if it was answered, not answered, or voicemail. You can also choose outcomes for better reporting. So once this is completed, all this information that you updated will automatically sync back to Jeffrey's log in the CRM. So the notes, the status, the outcome, everything syncs back to the CRM the minute you would save. So most of these calls go unanswered, right? And one of the main reasons for that is because the calls are coming from one random number. To increase your chances, Clendy has local dial presence, so you can purchase numbers from different countries, different area codes. And when making calls to these prospects from different countries and area codes, it will automatically pick up the number which is closest to that prospect's area code, which could also double the chances of response rate. And still, if the prospect doesn't pick up, there's always an option where you can have pre-recorded voicemail saved within Clendy which you can just, with one click, send across the voice message. Each sales rep has their own strategy on how to structure the outreach campaign. Some prefer to start with emails and have a series of different touch points and probably end with a call. But let's say if you are a sales rep who wants to start with a cold call, clendy has got you covered. Now you can start with a cold call and if the prospect picks up the line and you get to book a meeting, that's great. But on the off chance you land in their voicemail, Sending a text message or a WhatsApp would be a quick follow-up to your call. With Clenty, you can easily do that. You just click on that. You can paste your message here and execute those SMS and WhatsApp actions over here. So to summarize, with Clenty, you can tie them all to a cadence, but yet group these tasks by channel and execute them one by one. This helps improve your individual channel success and therefore your overall outreach. I'd like to pause right now and tell you about how the sales team at Double the Donation used multi-channel sales automation and got a 93% increase in the outbound revenue. So this goes to show you that the power of different channels when applied strategically with purpose help you accelerate your activity completion. Double the Donation was running manual outreach and they were looking for a way to systematically engage with prospects across multiple channels and get reps to do a more meaningful outreach. After failing to find the value in sales loft and outreach, they switched plenty and were able to automate calls, emails, LinkedIn tasks, all in a single cadence. Despite adding channels to the outreach, rep productivity increased by 250% and the outbound revenue by 93%. And all this was done with 0% of their time wasted on manual tasks. So you want to engage with your prospects wherever they are active, right? Calls, emails, LinkedIn, etc. And you want to follow through this process consistently with a purpose for every step in the sequence. You can use Clenty right now to do exactly the same. Sign up for Clenty for the next couple of weeks and see how it can increase your response rate through multi-channel sales automation.